Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. Uh, the best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you don't have a uh, paid supplement, I highly recommend the Kaplan QBank. Uh, you can get the Kaplan QBank for $55.80, I believe. Uh, that's what it comes in with my 15% discount code at checkout, Guru15. For that uh, commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you free looks at Kaplan content like this. This is an explication request. This is kind of bad form because we have a memory aid that should turn these kind of questions, judgment questions, into aim and shoot point and click questions. So, you know, maybe it's applying the memory aid perhaps to the question. So uh, let's look at this question. Royal Duck Manufacturing Company, RDMC, located in the United States exporters. So remember, our memory aid is EPIC, exporters by puts, importers by calls from the U.S. perspective. So it's a U.S. exporter, high quality down, overcoats to distributors in Canada to protect against currency risk. So what am I afraid of? I'm afraid of getting the Canadian dollars in their week, and they don't give me as many U.S. dollars. I'm not being facetious. The U.S. dollar is not a foreign currency, so you can eliminate any choices offered to you about hedging. Uh, as it relates to the U.S. dollar. We got to say, okay, well, the dollar's doing this, the other currency is doing that. The Canadian currency, the Canadian dollar is also known as a loony. Keyword on test taking, protect. So the minute you hear protect or hedge, you're thinking buy a put. You know, that more often than not, that's going to be the right answer. So there's a couple exceptions. You know, the exception would be if I'm a U.S. importer or if I'm short the stock, in which case I buy a call. But for the vast majority... 98 out of 100 times, it would be buy a put, right? Because I'm worried about that. So uh, to edge against the uh, currency risk, what I'm afraid of is, again, the uh, Canadian dollar, Canadian currency, the loony going down. So what I'm going to do, the answer to the question is buy puts on the Canadian currency. But I'm hoping that I'll make up in the put transaction, right? Because if the Canadian dollar goes down, the value of my put contract goes up. There's a negative correlation there. And I'm hoping that... Uh, uh, option will offset whatever loss I have in the spot market. The spot market is when I actually turn the Canadian dollars or the current rate when I turn the dollar Canadian dollars loonies into U.S. dollars. Uh, again, protect keyword, hedge, the keyword, pivot word for us as a test taker. And as I said, 98 out of 100 times we see the word protect or hedge, we're thinking buy a put. That's the answer we should be uh, projecting. Uh, Epic is our great memory aid, exporters buy puts. This is a UX exporter, and therefore the answer is buy a put, importers buy calls. In the video description, uh, I'll put the opposite when it's the opposite. Every once in a while, somebody says, oh, Dean, you told me Epic. It doesn't work here. And I said, well, let's be clear. That's not a US exporter. That is a Japanese exporter, or that's not a US importer. That is a European importer. So then it's the uh, opposite. And I'll put that in the video description for you. Uh, anyways, remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. Hope to see you. If you have any explication request, doesn't have to be Kaplan like this question. Could be any uh, test prep vendor. If you need help, just send it along my way, and I'm more than happy to explicate it for you. Uh, see you on the next explication.